Friday, the 21st of September 2012, Stone Lock, Staffordshire, England. This is by way of evening prayer. These words are of Simeon when he sees Christ. The Nunc Dimittis. It's in Luke, the Gospel of Luke. <clears throat> Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, for mine eyes hath seen thy, thy salvation which you have prepared in the sight of all people, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and for the glory of thy people, Israel. Amen. I watched this film today about the life of John Wesley, who was the son of Wesley's he, the two uh, children, the 15th and 16th children, Charles and John Wesley, the Methodists, the founding fathers of the Methodists. Uh, his dates are 1702 three to 1792. He died at the age of 89. God chooses people to work through whom he works in this world. To me, for the moment, this is my pulpit, these little films I make. Now, for all the world, they had the same idea. The Wesleys, the brothers Wesley. <coughs> there was a famous pianist, and the point is that. It's the timing, it's the pauses between the notes that matter. So there's the chap Arvo Pert, P double A R T, is a musician, composer. And he's famously made a piece of four minutes and 33 seconds, or whatever it is, of silence. The Quakers love silence. In silence, we can hear. God's call. To me, God is calling all of humanity to Him now in the times in which we live. And all of those who have ears to hear, eyes to see, come to him. Come as Christ was, peaceful, in humble submission to God's will. Come to him. Come to God through Christ. Amen.